We have used the term thought viruses for a long time now. I picked up the term from the motivational speaker, Amanda Gore. Thoughts are real nerve impulses and real activity in the brain, and thought viruses are unhelpful. Viruses, of course, can move between people. They can have varying power. They can remain dormant, but they can also be removed. Thought viruses and explained pain have been battling it out for years, but the tables are turning. Explained pain and the power of knowledge is now more available and scientifically proven than ever. Here are some examples of thought viruses that have been tackled by explained pain. I'm not doing anything until all the pain goes. I'm in pain. There must be something harmful happening to my body. We can put a man on the moon. Why can't someone just fix this pain for me? I'm so frightened of my pain and of injuring my back again. I'm not doing anything. Even their whiz-bang scanning machine can't find it. It must be bad. Thought viruses can be powerful dims, brain activity all created by concepts of danger. This activity can drive your pain up or just keep it going. But there is a vaccine for thought viruses, and that is up-to-date, explained pain knowledge. And there's solid evidence which shows that knowing why we hurt will help us heal and reduce pain. Thought vaccines are powerful sims, that is, brain activity enhancing thoughts of safety. Vaccine examples could be, I can be sore but I can be safe, or I'll pace it and not race it, or my brain and pain are changeable, or I can do a little more each day. And the statement, no pain, no gain, is also a powerful thought vaccine, as long as you spell it K-N-O-W. Use thought vaccines yourself, and spread them right around the world. Find out more about Explained Pain at protectometer.com.